I've got a match prediction and trading tip for the Tampico Challenger in Mexico. It is Mandlick against Stearns. Let's try and figure out who's going to win. So they've played once before. That was in June last year uh, in an ITF on a hard court. Mandlick took that in straight sets. Last season, Mandlick lost to Fernandez in the first round. Stearns didn't play there last year. Let's see what they've been doing this season. Not a huge amount for Mandlick. She reached the quarterfinals in Osaka as qualifier. Probably a best result. Didn't make it through the US Open qualifying rounds or the Montreal qualifying qualifying rounds or Washington. She did reach second round in Indian Wells in March and lost in the qualifying rounds of the Australian Open. Did get a lucky loser place and to be fair took Begu to three sets. Have a look at Stearns. Made it through the qualifying rounds in Beijing before losing to Brady in straight sets. Excellent result, the US Open, fourth round there. Decent draw there to be fair. Second round in Cleveland. Second round Washington as lucky loser. Second round Indian Wells. Quarterfinals in Austin. She won an ITF title in January. So it looks like she's been the busier of the two. I'll look at the stats down at the bottom. Now this is in a challenger, but first of all I'm going to compare main tour stats. So main tour, we're on a hard court. Got one year selected. Okay, Stern's lead service hold percentage. First serve points one. Pretty even, slight edge to Mandlick. Second serve points, one go to Stearns and predicted holds go to Stearns. Return stats, pretty even. Return stats, return, st <laughs> return points, one. Put my teeth back in and return games, one. Let's look at three months. Remember, this is still main to up stats. So this time Stearns, service hold percentage, first serve points one, second serve points one, and predicted holds. So looking strong for her. Uh, Mandlick better on return. Now if we try and compare, if we click today, it gives us just challenges. And you can see they haven't played challenges in the last three months. And they haven't played that many. And like just the one in the last year. So if we select challenges and ITFs, it's going to be mainly ITFs. But again, Stearns has got the lead there. Pretty much everything. So I'd say pretty clear that Stearns, in terms of the stats and her performances this year, is well out in front from a trading point of view she starts at 1.41 i'm looking to back stearns around 1.9 to 2.1 and i'm expecting her to take it in straight sets good luck if you get involved if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one